and welcome to my video. Now, I'm doing this because something fairly big is actually happening, and that is Windows are putting the price up of their new operating system, Windows 8. They had a special upgrade deal, which was very, very enticing, um, for £25 or $39.99 uh, to upgrade your current Windows 7 machine to Windows 8. Now the reason they did this was because there was maybe a little bit of is it actually any good, should I do it, should I do it, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't many real reasons to upgrade necessarily unless you wanted a touch screen, so by doing this they would have got more customers to upgrade, which worked with me and it may have worked with you already. But this video is for the people who are currently running off Windows 7 and they're semi-interested in Windows 8, haven't really thought that much about upgrading but they might do in the future. So Windows have released their pricing. Now as it's $39.99 at the moment it's not a bad deal that price is in dollars it's $24.99 in the UK but it's gonna go up to a ridiculous price to be honest a uh, price that is just it's, yeah ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so effective after January 31st so from the February 1st an upgrade to Windows 8 Pro will cost 199 US dollars that was 39.99 but that's now 199 dollars so that's for the Windows 8 Pro if you want the Windows 8 standard, then it's $119 for a standard Windows 8 upgrade. Uh, English pricing and international pricing is not yet announced, but it won't be too dissimilar to what it currently is, well, what it was for Windows 7. So for a Windows um, 8 Pro, it will cost you around £135, £140. But we'll wait and see what they say about that. What does this mean? Well, this means that it's decision time whether you want Windows 8 or not. Because if you don't upgrade to Windows 8 before February, then realistically there's going to be absolutely no point in you doing so. You may as well wait until you get your next computer which will probably have Windows 8 preloaded on it. So this does beg the question again, do I want Windows 8 and is it worth the current upgrade price? Now I did answer this partly, I did give an answer in my previous two videos which are the gaming one there and then the other one which was 8 days with is there. It's not there at the moment, this is just air. But I'm gonna show you what I think of Windows 8 now, it's been a lot longer than 8 days, it's been since October the 31st since I upgraded which is quite a while so let's have a, another look at some of my favourite features of Windows 8. So here we are in Windows 8 again. As you've seen, as I've shown you before, this is pretty redundant, let's be honest. They try and make you use all their apps, so I've got a couple of apps on here, a couple of demos, but they're not at all useful to anyone, really. Uh, I, the music one I do use, and you can see I've got my collection of music in here, and I also use the Windows Phone one, but apart from that, it doesn't get any use. I probably use it about realistically 1% of my time on the computer, which isn't very much, to swap between uh, this, you press Windows and Tab, and then you can switch between your open applications. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And if you want to go back into the desktop, you press Windows and D. So pretty simple, really. And then I want to get back into music, uh, well, Windows Phone. Uh, you can just do like that, and you select your open apps. So what I will do is I'll have my music playing, and then if I ever want to get back into it, then I just press Windows and I press Tab. Take straight in, select my track, straight back out, job done. Apart from that, I don't use any of the new Windows-like features. What I do use is this, and this is the Task Manager. Much improved. I can click Performance and it shows you what's going on. So, for example, if I'm rendering a video, then this goes to the max of 3.8 gigahertz and it gives you a nice graph, shows you how your computer's performing. All your startup applications are here and everything else is pretty much the same as it was before. But it's, you know, quite nice. If I go to transfer a file, so, so let's go... Oh yeah, nice little feature with Task Manager is you have to remember to turn it on 
is it's always on top. You've got to make sure the video, the uh, that the tab is always on top because if you're in a game and it crashes, um, then you need it to be on top so you can exit them. So if you do get Windows 8, remember to, I'll show you how to do it, you go into your task manager, options, always on top, and you make, make sure you do that because if your game crashes, like mine did before, and that's not on, that um, feature's not on, then you actually have to sign out and sign back in because, um, as for example, Assassin's Creed was a bit of a bitch. Anyway, apart from that, there's not that much going on, you know, if you want to shut it down, I guess, just press Alt F4 and then it comes down with what do you want to do, but it's just pretty much the same really, obviously there are loads of features I'm not showing you, but they're just not really that useful, you've got storage spaces, the search is nice actually, you just press the Windows button and you start typing, so if I start storage, click settings, well, storage, uh, and then you see storage spaces is here and that's so if I wanted to create like a RAID 0 type thing then I could do that just through Windows which is more consumer friendly which is very nice so something that you might want to do is get two hard drives and then pull your games on one storage space that works but you can do various things like that uh, but the thing I was going to show you is let's click on my Samsung uh, just my hard drive and let's show you what happens if I want to transfer a video clip so, for example, just a recording that I've got from Fraps. Let's make sure it's nice and big. Uh, how big is this one? Sorry. So you see, it's all pretty similar. One gig, and then I want to transfer that. So I go cut, and I just want to put that here. Click paste, and you will see that this comes up, which is perhaps my favourite feature, and it just shows you what speed things transferring. It will be a graph, how complete it is, and it just gives you some nice details about it pretty simple really, you can pause and you can have more than one of these going on at the same time, but it works and obviously I wanted to you know, put that back now, so I'll put that back where it was and you'll see that it will do it again and you see the graph goes up and down, it's weird, it's 100, well that was pretty weird, but yeah anyway the point is it shows you a lot more stats about what's going on which is quite nice, but apart from that there's nothing really stand out I'm afraid, sorry to say so this but there's just it's just not that fantastic you see and this is why 199 US dollars is absolutely ludicrous because I yeah it's worth 25 quid if a couple of new features keeps you up to date it's nice it's a nice little thing but honestly 199 US dollars for Windows Pro no absolutely not you see this is the store you just there's nothing here there's nothing here of any use really obviously there are a few things but they're just not, you know, I just don't use them. So like, let's click on Windows Phone News, for example. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice if you have it on a tablet or something, but it's just, there's just no need. There's just no need to have anything like this. You know, games run fine, but it's just not, it's not very interesting. And I'm going to stop now because I'm going to go on about how it's not that interesting. So that was Windows 8 and what I currently think about it. As I've said before, and I will say again, it is the best operating system currently available. Is it phenomenal? Is it miles better than Windows 7 in every way? No. So this is where the question comes in, do I upgrade? Well, it's difficult to answer, but I upgraded, and I'm actually very happy I did. As I said in my Gaming with Windows 8 video, I had to put it all on a backup disk because I had severe problems upgrading where a lot of things didn't work. So I think if you were going to put Windows 8 on there you'd be better off doing a clean install if you know what you're doing. But an upgrade will, well, could be fine. It wasn't for me but it could be for you. I've heard that for most it's fine. So 39.99 US dollars, 24.99 for people in Great Britain. I would say go for it, I would say upgrade because I think you could, you could regret it later and the Windows 8 has quite a few nice features to it and I think it's a lot smoother, a lot slicker and it's just nicer to use than Windows 7 was. It's not perfect but it's good. I would say upgrade but you really do need to make your decision now. You've got to decide, am I going to want Windows 8 in the future? Yes, upgrade now, no, don't upgrade, pretty simple because one thing you're not going to want to do is pay 199 US dollars 
on February the 2nd when you decide that maybe you do want Windows 8. More than likely is that you will decide that you don't want Windows 8 and when you buy your next computer or buy your next motherboard you'll be forced to uh, meet Windows 8. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you have any doubts and it's actually very good and all games run absolutely fine as far as I can tell. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative and I hope that you make your decision soon whether you want it because time is running out. I will see you next time.